In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create, for example, here, a scrollable bar chart here. And as we add up new items, the chart will expand itself. But visually, within this div, it will stay in the same size. So it will only allow us to scroll more. So let's start to explore how we can create this scroll bar effect in Chart.js. So let's look how to add the vertical scroll bar effect in Chart.js. First thing that we need is our boiler template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com. Getting started, this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. So once you're on there, copy this chunk of code, which is the boiler template. If you want to understand the boiler template code, please watch this video here that explains it all. I'll paste this in here and then I'll cut out that and put that in here. Save, refresh. So now we have this and when I got this question through email, I had, uh, there was a request and the design was really stunning, but then I will skip it for another time. But there was two, basically two charts on top of each other. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a second chart. Enter here and then say this of course will be my ID chart of number two because we're not allowed to use the same ID. Then what I want to do is I want to copy all of this, copy this, Enter, enter, paste that in here. And then maybe what we can do here is say, this will be chart number two. So now we have this. What I want to do here is uh, we have all of that. And then this was a stacked bar. So what I'm going to say here, if I save this, oh, before I even save that, I need to make sure everything works. So this should be chart number two, equal to chart number two. The data here will be a column data number two. And the reason why like this is we're not allowed to use an ES6 shorthand for this, but this config here is a shorthand like that. So that's very important. And then finally here, this will be equal to data number two. Save this, refresh, now we have two charts. Let's convert this chart into a horizontal chart. So I'm going to say here, and then I'm going to say here index axis, and then I'm going to swap the Y axis and the X axis comma, save, refresh. There we are. Now we have a horizontal bar chart here. And basically what would happen is if we add up more bars, after a while, we will have a scroll effect. So let's start to work on that scroll effect. To do this, we're going to work with the maintain aspect ratio. And this is a very confusing thing for many, is basically how charges defines the size of the chart. And this is basically by the main uh, aspect ratio that is the core but if we set it on false what will happen is because right now it's not enclosed in a single one but it's enclosed in two items it will just be a elastic event here so I need to set this or I need to remove this first and what we need to do then is instead of having a div only one div I need another div and closing our canvas here or nesting nested within in will be the canvas so let's do that one first and uh, let's see where are we here up what I will do is I'm going to use two divs this first div I will give it the class name of our box because that is basically the one that will create the scroll effect but then within this we can have another class and this will be we can call this our sub box and basically this sub box is the one that will create the height because the height of the canvas that is being calculated will be applied on the sub box immediately as well so they, these two are very connected however this one here is not connected with the sizes of here so here we can create a so-called scroll effect so if I save this right now and refresh all right everything works fine but if I do now I might maintain aspect ratio you will see it will keep the chart in check or in place but the maintain aspect ratio has been removed so that will mean that if we just create a shape on its own what it thinks it is the best possible shape which in this case is not because you can see it's hard to read this so what we're going to do here now is two things first of all I want to go into my uh, class here this and I'm going to grab this and put it in CSS so we're going to use some CSS tricks here in this item what I'm going to say here because how we create a, a scroll effect is by basically defining a height let's say 500 pixels for example 
and then we also have a maximum height and this maximum height could be sh or should be lesser than the height above why so this would mean that it will not fit within the maximum height so then there must be a scroll effect to make sure that this scroll effect works we're going to say here overflow and we're going to pinpoint the horizontal sorry the vertical level so it is overflow y and then we're going to say here scroll so we're going to just force a scroll in here if i do this of course right now nothing happens why well if i inspect the element here the height here is only 150 and not 250 which is the maximum height here so what i want to do then is I want to give the sub box, and this is the reason why we have the sub box, the full spectrum of the size. So basically this one here and these will be nicely coordinated with each other. So I'm going to scroll down here. And what we're going to do here is just basically create an item here. I'm going to create a, uh, oh, before you do an if statement, what I want to do is I say a constant, and let's say here this will be the sub box. That's the element I want to grab. So I say document dot query selector, which is just a basic javascript command and if you want to understand what this means basically the document is this html document query stands for search so we're going to search in our html document for a selector and another word for a selector is a syntax or a tag so look for the tag or the selector and then specifically for a class that contains the class of not box but subbox class for the dot and then subbox that's basically what we're doing here nothing fancy it's just basic javascript now what I want to do is I want to make sure that this subbox gets a proper class or height, sorry. So we're going to say subbox dot style. So we're going to CSS height and this height could be, well, let's say here 300 pixels. Make sure that this is a string value. So single quotation, save, refresh. As you can see here, now we already have this, but I'm not satisfied with this. And the reason why I'm not satisfied with this, if I have more items, this will still be fixed at 300 pixels. So let me show you if I'm going to grab this, comma, put that in there, copy this, comma, paste, save, refresh. As you can see here, now it becomes too narrow and there we are. As you can see, this bar here will show, but once I'm gone here, but if I'm on mobile, if I'm not mistaken, if it's in a mobile view, there is an automatic bar being shown. So that's why scroll bar effect, I guess, is the proper name. Anyway, how can we make this more dynamic based on how many bars we have? Well, we can do this by creating an if statement here. So what I'm going to do now is a simple if statement. And this if statement will be based on our my chart number two, because that is the one that we look at. And then what we're going to say here is quite straightforward. We're going to say it my chart and we go to data.labels. And to understand what I'm doing here, Let's go here from data, which is data two, but it's data because the object name is still data. And then labels, we will calculate here how many labels we have. It's an array, so we can get here the length. So we're going to say your data dot length. And this, we'll just say very straightforward. If this is the length is more than seven, in that case, so if it's more than seven, in that case, what I want to do is I want to create a new height for this number here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up by saying by default, it is just 300 pixels. However, if this condition would be true, in that case, I'm going to create a new constant. I'll just call this our new height. And this new height is 300 plus whatever would be the length of this. I'm going to grab this. Whatever the length minus seven, because the 300 is based on the seven items here. That's the default, minus seven. And then what I will do here, well, let's make this a formula here properly. Minus seven. And then we multiply this with 20 pixels. So we have a 20 pixel increment for every new bar above seven items. So if we do this now, we can save that. And then we can say you refresh. And now we can see here, it's now starting to expand itself well, am I correct? Does it expand itself correctly? Let's see. We have this one. It's how many height? All right, let me just check this one more time. I have a feeling that it didn't work as expected. Oh, of course. Why it doesn't work? 
I only have this new concept, but this new concept needs to be applied within here, of course. My bad. So what we're going to do here is a new height, and I'm going to use just a template literal. So I'm going to use backtick backtick, which is on your escape uh, on your keyboard below your escape button. Then I'm going to say here. This is just an easy way of concatenation. We just say dollar sign, and then here curly braces, and put in here the variable. And this here just is text. It will understand exactly what we mean. If I save this, refresh, there we are. Now we have this, and we have this nice expanded version here. If I have lesser items, so let's go back, and we should only have seven items, we should have a 300 pixel size of our chart. Let's check, save, refresh, there we are. Now we have 300 pixels. You say, well, why is this still, still scrollable? Well, the reason for the scroll is basically this here. Our max height was 250. Let's put it on 300, save there. So it will not scroll on this, but if I add now a new item, just quickly, let's say here, S number one, and here number three, save, refresh. Now we have this, but you can see here, now it's forced to scroll a bit. And this is absolutely phenomenal because now it keeps on growing and the height of this, if I'm correct, should be 320. Why 320? 300 pixels, the default, plus 20 pixels for every new bar that is being added. And that's it. This is basically the way how you can create a simple scroll functionality in Chart.js just using CSS, but just understanding how this works. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe besides of the scroll bar here, you want to have like a special scroll bar for left and right because you have multiple data where we have a click effect. In that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here, which I truly love as well, is how to create buttons that scroll the chart from the left to the right. And these buttons are truly canvas API buttons. So that's a very interesting item as well to explore.